It's June 27th, uh, uh, in 2013. We're in Marrakesh, Morocco, where they're about to approve a treaty on copyright exceptions for blind people. I'm here with uh, Maureen Duffy, who's uh, is, uh, 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 representing authors. And uh, could you, first of all, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your and, and what you've been publishing? Um, I'm the author of over 30 published books, um, non-fiction, including history and biography, 19 novels, six volumes of poetry, and I've also had 10 plays performed in various ways and done some writing for screen and radio. Now I think I heard, first heard you speak uh, in Edinburgh once, and I remember you as a very strong voice for the rights of authors. and. I'd like you to uh, give your thoughts on what's about to happen here today. Well, we are about, I believe, to, as it were, consummate a treaty for the visually impaired. And as authors, we welcome this because it extends our potential readership, our potential audience to um, possibly as many as 280 million uh, not buyers, but readers, and of course it's readers that we always want. But we always have a caveat with this, which is that we need to be supported by our work in order that we can continue our work. So we regard this treaty as um, perhaps a mixed blessing, but in the words of Billy Wilder, or rather to paraphrase them, uh, nothing is perfect. Well, thank you. Is there anything you'd like to add before I let you go? Um, well, we look forward to the developments in technology which will make this possible and also make it possible for us to receive some, we hope, small, perhaps, but necessary remuneration in return. Thank you very much.